What's up folks, how's it going? This is Large. Hope you guys are all doing well. And what you're looking at is the new Gigabyte Aero 15 X9. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll remember that a few months back, we featured the original Gigabyte Aero 15. And in terms of face value, this pretty much looks identical to that laptop, but Gigabyte claims that this is the first artificial intelligence based laptop in the world. Now, does that mean that this is gonna eventually take over the world or enslave humans in some ways? Well, no, this is actually based off of Microsoft Azure AI, which is a machine learning algorithm that they mostly develop for web-based applications but in partnership with Intel and Gigabyte the AI system will learn and adapt to your usage profile and it has access to the uh, power and throttle settings for your CPU and GPU so that way you can get the best gaming performance as well as the shortest rendering processing times available. The AI has also access to your backlit keyboards, fans, as well as uh, the audio output settings so it can perfectly fine-tune based on your environment and what applications that you're running at the time. Now, what I was most curious about is actually the performance benefits of the Azure AI. Uh, does this actually enhance uh, the gaming experience or the uh, video rendering times if you're like a video editor like myself? So we did a number of tests to analyze that. But before we get into those test results, I just want to talk about the internal specs. Now we have the same exact uh, processor that we found in the previous generation Aero 15X that we reviewed a couple of months back. So we're using the Core i7 8750H processor that that's a six core chip with 12 threads. Now the big change over here is that we have the RTX 2070 Max-Q design. So this is the first ray tracing enabled laptop that we've encountered. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this performs on Battlefield 5. Everything else in terms of hardware is Intel based. So we have Thunderbolt 3 as well as killer LAN and Wi-Fi. And we're using the ultra fast 760p M.2 SSD drive, which delivers a stunning read and write sequential speeds. We're getting uh, over two gigabytes in terms of read and about 1.5 gigabytes in terms of write performance. And uh, the internal architecture is also fairly well designed. If you open it up, you'll have access, in this case, to an extra SODIMM slot so we can expand the memory up to 64 gigs if we like. And we have another M.2 drive slot so we can expand our internal storage capacity uh, significantly as well in the future. So definitely well thought out over here. Now let's get into some of our performance benchmark uh, results. Now on Cinebench R15, taking a look at the processor performance with the Azure AI system uh, turned off. Now, if we compare it against the previous generation Aero 15X, we're getting very similar results. Basically, the previous gen got 1,020 points versus 1,036 on the new version. But with the AI system turned on, one of the things that I noticed is that the fans spool up a lot quicker. Uh, the uh, uh, CPU actually turbos up to its max frequency a little bit faster as well, so it's a little bit quicker in terms of its response time to the application. And as a result of all those factors, you're gonna get slightly faster performance on Cinebench, so we're getting about 1,093 in those situations. Uh, now, that being said, you could probably manually control uh, some of these parameters and the voltage of uh, the CPU to get very similar results, but this is kind of the out-of-the-box testing experience that we've encountered thus far. And in terms of the gaming-specific uh, results, uh, let's take a look at Time Spy, which is DirectX 12 uh, benchmark, and uh, basically with it off, we're getting about 5,800 points on average. And uh, if we take a look at the previous generation Aero 15X with the same exact CPU, but with the uh, 1070 Max-Q GPU, we were getting about 4,725 uh, based on those uh, previous parameters. Uh, but with the AI system turned on, I actually could consistently get over 6,100 points on Time Spy, which is uh, definitely a very interesting. Again, the same exact situation is happening where the GPU and CPU spools up a little bit quicker in terms of their fan speeds, the wattage and uh, turbo outputs respond a little bit quicker uh, to this specific application. That's exactly what the Azure AI is doing. It's not tapping into any kind of hidden power storage or anything like that. It's just making sure that the CPUs and GPUs throttle appropriately and at a faster rate than what they would be uh, with the Azure system turned off. Now, just to give you another example, with PUBG at ultra settings at 1080p, uh, we're looking at about 82 average frames per second with the system off, and uh, it's really hard to replicate a uh, consistent benchmark results with a multiplayer game like this, but uh, essentially I did my best to replicate the same exact trial run, but I got about 83 with the system turned on, and you can see the minimum FPS scores on there as well. So in most situations, I don't think that the Azure AI system is going to give you a huge advantage in terms of 
real-world gaming performance, perhaps in some synthetic benchmark results, uh, you're going to see uh, those differences. But in reality, I don't think, again, you're going to get anything significant out of the AI system at this stage of the game. Now, in terms of uh, the ray tracing performance on Battlefield 5 for the RTX 2070 Max-Q design GPU that's built into this thing, at 1080p, we're getting about 86.2 average frames per second. And with DLSS, or ray tracing, turned on on Battlefield 5 in the same exact scenario, we're getting a measly 33.6 frames per second. So although this is capable of ray tracing, you probably don't want to use it uh, due to the fact that it's really poorly optimized and the performance is going to dramatically suffer uh, compared to when you have ray tracing turned off. Uh, just to give you guys a comparison with a desktop grade uh, Zotex RTX 2070, we're getting about 136 frames per second at 1080p with the ray tracing system turned off and with it on we're getting about 58 frames per second so there's a pretty significant difference between a desktop grade uh, 2070 and what we have or here with the max q design in this small thin laptop now if you take a look at the performance benchmark results of the uh, 2070 max q compared to the previous generation 1070 you're going to be actually pretty disappointed there's actually not a huge performance difference on most of these competitive gaming titles like fortnite overwatch and far cry 5 over here you're getting anywhere between a 2 to 4% increase on average, so not a significant difference, especially if you have a laptop that already has a uh, 1070 Max-Q, you're probably not going to need to really upgrade uh, to something that has a 2070. Uh, there's not going to be a huge difference between the two based on our experience. Now, the Azure AI system also promises to shorten the uh, render output times for content creation-based applications, so I'm specifically interested in how it handles Premiere Pro. We have a 3 minute and 37 second uh, video file that we want to output to 4k for YouTube publishing and uh, with the AI system turned on it took about 5 minutes 36 seconds and with it off it took about 5 minutes 49 seconds now just to make sure we have uh, a couple of different uh, trial runs uh, for this test we uh, rendered it out again same exact scenario we got about 5 minutes 9 seconds with the AI system turned on and then with the AI system turned off we got the same exact results of five minute and nine seconds. So in reality, I did this a couple of different uh, times and uh, mixed results uh, throughout each of those uh, tests. So uh, based on the mixed results, I would say that we have inconclusive results and it'd be safe to say that the AI system doesn't have any inherent benefits for content creation based on what we experienced thus far. Perhaps as it learns and gets better, we'll find other results. But for the time being, we have uh, pretty much a null results for the AI system. Now, that being said, the future is definitely artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning is already integrated into pretty much everything we do on a daily basis. So we can't escape the fact that we're going to have to deal with systems uh, like this and hopefully the optimization will get better. And based on some of our synthetic benchmarks results, yes, the AI system is in fact enhancing the performance of the CPU and GPU, especially when it's all integrated in a tight synchronistic package like we have over here. Uh, but uh, there's definitely some more development for future research and hopefully the systems like this will get better and better and actually enhance our productivity and gaming experience in the future but in the time being i would definitely not invest into it at this point of the game but besides that guys if you have any specific questions definitely let me know i want to thank you guys so much for watching i thank you so much for your support and make sure you have notifications turned on so that way you can watch our videos once they become available to you uh, check out the description for more details about everything we talked about and we'll see you later. Take care.